All right, you're catching me right after a quick coffee break. It's actually been getting cold because I've been so focused on you. So the next lesson I have for you today is called Simple Steps. So you will find that on page 10 in the Piano Basics PDF document, Simple Steps. So let's look at this, okay? We're no longer just on one clef. See, we have some notes in the treble and then we have some in the bass. So what does this mean? It means we are combining hands for the first time. So no worries if you think you're not ready for that, but we're, we, we're gonna go really slow and we're not playing at the same time, okay? And each hand is taking its turn as you can see here. In this section, we only have the left hand and then the right hand and it switches back to the left and then back to the right. So nothing crazy but we do want to start combining your hands. So go ahead and place your right hand thumb on middle C and then your left hand thumb on middle C. So a lot of my students will, will you know, be mind blown by how are two fingers supposed to be on the same key. And all I say is you're gonna get used to it, okay? I wanna get your hand placement down, but before we actually play, you didn't think I was gonna forget about the rhythm, right? We're going to clap, okay? So let's go ahead and clap. I'm going to clap with you. We're just going to clap one time through. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And on one, holding two, three. Pretty simple rhythm. Rhythm has nothing new. So now let's go ahead and play it, okay? Adding the notes to the rhythm. Your left hand starts first, so be prepared to play middle C with your left hand. Okay, counting nice and slow. Anytime we introduce something new, you're going to slow down your bass line speed. Okay, so left hand's going on C, ready, counting and slow. Here we go. One, two, three. Right hand goes on C. One, two. Three, left hand again, C, one, going down, two, three, and right hand play C, one, hold, two, three. Okay, one more time, don't lift your hands. Left hand, ready, here we go. One, two, three, right hand, one. Lessons are getting shorter and shorter as you learn the basic principles that go into sight reading. You don't have to spend 30 minutes doing the same piece, okay? So this is another secret I'm going to let you in on, okay? My students pay big bucks to get this kind of training, and I'm giving it to you for free here. So listen up. Take notes. You should only be playing each of these pieces two or three times, okay? So I haven't mentioned this to you yet because I really want you to get the hang of knowing what you're doing. But from here on out, I want you to make a point of just reading every piece only two or three times. Why? Because after the second or third time, you kind of start to memorize it. And then once you're playing it from memory, you're not really working on your sight reading skills. So your sight reading skills are kind of getting pushed to the side here and you're just memorizing and add in not looking at the, at the sheet music when you're playing and looking at my hands and you're really pretty much not gonna learn how to sight read. So let's try to avoid that. You wanna only play everything the maximum two times from here on out, even if it's not perfect. So remember what I said in the last video, it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to play all the notes right, but you do have to have perfect rhythm. Okay, so that's why it's okay. That's why it's only two times. Even if you didn't get all the notes right second time, you're still okay to move on. It might feel weird. You might feel like you're not ready. But what we're really working on is rhythm here. The notes are easy to fix. But rhythm problems, not easy to fix. So focus on the rhythm. 
and you're going to do great. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.